Hello my little fairies. Welcome back. Today we are doing another how to build an aesthetic wardrobe video. This time we're talking about Winter Fairy Coquettes, which is not as trendy as it was last year, but I still really like this aesthetic. And I didn't get a chance to do it last year because I found out about it in like April of this year. So I was a little bit late to the trend because I'm just lame like that. And I don't know, just stay home all the time. So I waited until now to cover it because winter is kind of somewhat coming up soon. And I know Coquette is still really popular, so I think this aesthetic is still relevant. It's like the perfect way to bring Coquette into your winter wardrobe. So if you aren't familiar with Coquette, it's an aesthetic that is very much hyper-feminine and kind of reclaiming girlhood. It has a lot of lace, white and pastel pinks, ribbons, and just stereotypically feminine things. And Winter Fairy Coquette, or the Winter Bimbo aesthetic, is a winter aesthetic that takes elements from both coquette and fairy grunge and if you're not familiar with fairy grunge, it's basically a mix of fairy core and grunge like the name suggests. So the outfits can kind of range from more soft, girly, coquette to more fairy grungy or somewhere in between. And it has a color palette of mostly whites, like inspired by snow, pastel pinks, pastel blue, beige, and light brown. And for visuals, you would see a lot of pure bright or white backgrounds, snow, puffy and fluffy materials. They have key values of innocence, softness, purity, tranquility, and youth. So visually, I think this is a really pretty aesthetic. I do love the idea of like reclaiming your femininity because I can definitely resonate with that. I feel like I had a lot of internalized misogyny before, like where I kind of denounced the color pink and things like that. But I'm trying to reclaim that feminine side of myself and I really appreciate Coquette for bringing that out. However, Coquette definitely has its controversies and criticism and same for the Winter Fairy Coquette aesthetic. From the aesthetics wiki page, it says, Russian bimbo aesthetic is criticized for promoting eating disorder and body dysmorphia due to the aesthetic's focus on skinny body image and that a few vendors only sell sizes XXS to small. I think this is totally fair and it's definitely an issue that a lot of aesthetics have <clears throat> looking at you ballet core. And I definitely don't want to promote that and I think that you should be mindful of what you're promoting when you participate in some aesthetics. But I also feel like the more people who participate in the aesthetic and the bigger it gets, the more creators there will be of different body types and different backgrounds to promote more inclusivity in this aesthetic. And I think that could definitely be a good thing. The aesthetic wiki also says this aesthetic also romanticizes Russian and East European culture as people on TikTok who wear Russian bimbo outfits often take pictures in the snowy forest or Russian town squares. Some people go as far as to gatekeeping this aesthetic for Russians only. It is glamorizing the country's stereotypes and portraying Slavic women as bimbos, hence the name Russian bimbo. The terms winter fairy coquette and winter bimbo are preferred so as to not feed into those negative stereotypes. I also think this is fair criticism. I didn't even know that it was originally called Russian Bimbo. I think the name Winter Fairy Coquette is definitely way better, or even Winter Bimbo. This sounds very familiar. That's right, we're thinking of a Gremlin Core. It also had a similar issue with the name where it used to be called Goblin Core, but that was offensive to Jewish people. And so a lot of people are now calling it Gremlin Core. And I think that if you can rebrand it like that, I think that the aesthetic itself isn't harmful, but definitely the name was portraying a negative stereotype and I don't like that. But let me know what you guys think below in the comments of these controversies and whether you think it means we shouldn't participate in this aesthetic or we should. If you're interested, I also have a discord server where we can talk about anything related to fashion and aesthetics including ethics and sustainability. So if you're interested, check that out. I think it's a really great community. It's definitely growing and we have people talking about new aesthetics they find, sharing their outfits of the day, and it's really cool. So I'll link that down below. But let's get into the specific items to look for when building a winter fairy coquette wardrobe. So for tops, I would look for crop tops or cropped cardigans, tank tops, turtlenecks, puffy jackets and sweaters, fleece jackets, fur coats, any sort of soft material really, parkas, mini and midi dresses, corsets, sweaters and knit materials. I would also look for lace trim or fur trim, and really any top that fits in the coquette aesthetic can probably fit in this aesthetic as well, but just style it in more of a winter outfit. For bottoms, you definitely see a lot of mini skirts, like flared mini skirts, A-line mini skirts, any kind of mini skirt in the color palette would work. But I know that's not the most practical, so you can also go for pants. I would just look for a more feminine silhouette, maybe like a flared fit or like a cigarette pant fit, rather than baggy pants. 
For accessories, I think you could really go crazy here. Go for a lot of winter accessories. You can look for things like earmuffs, leg warmers, arm warmers, ribbons, mittens, scarves, stockings or tights. You can play around with the stockings and tights as well. Go for lace ones, go for knitted ones, go for ripped ones if you want more of the fairy grunge vibe, fishnet ones. I would also look for pearl jewelry and any kind of winter hat like a beanie especially with a little pom-pom on top. For shoes, I would go for knee-high winter boots, platforms, Mary Janes, creepers, moon boots, or any kind of fluffy boots or shoes or boots in the winter fairy color palette. And when you're putting together an outfit, I feel like you mostly want to look for certain types of materials like lace, faux fur or faux shirling, knit fabrics, and often mixing these materials together and layering them on top of each other and layering in general because it is a winter aesthetic and because you wear like a lot of like mini skirts and crop tops, you still want to layer a lot of tights and underclothing and jackets on top so you can stay at least a little bit warm. And for where to shop for this aesthetic, some brands that were recommended on the Aesthetics Wiki page, which I'll also link down below if you want to take a look as well. There's Ozlana, Demonia for certain types of shoes, Vivian Westwood, which I am freaking in love with. I love Vivian Westwood, especially their jewelry and purses. Vintage Hollister, Vintage Abercrombie and & Fitch, and I think even modern day Abercrombie should have some items as well. I feel like they have been hopping on trends lately, so they should have some items. And you can even get some like basics in the white pastel pink color palette. Harlot Hands. And some other options I'd recommend would be thrifting, of course. I think you could definitely find a lot of items here. They're not like super crazy items that would be hard to find. And it's definitely an aesthetic where accessorizing makes the biggest difference. You can also try Aritzia, Urban Outfitters. Kitteny is a really cute and very feminine brand that I like. Minka London should also have some options. They kind of have collections for a bunch of different aesthetics. So they might have one for a similar aesthetic here, some sort of feminine aesthetic. There's also Loud Body which is a size inclusive brand that has some really cute options. I just checked right now and there's some pretty dresses that I think could definitely fit into this aesthetic. And I also like to check Etsy for jewelry and accessories. If you have any other suggestions for brands, definitely leave it in the comments below because I love finding new places to shop. But that's all for today. I definitely really like this aesthetic personally and I want to bring some elements of it into my own wardrobe. I'm not sure about the color palette, but maybe like some feminine elements but in a darker colored palette I think would be really cool like dark winter fairy coquette Ooh, that would actually be really cool let's make this a thing I'm definitely going to try to bring some of that dark winter fairy coquette energy into my winter wardrobe when the weather gets colder but let me know what you guys think in the comments below do you like this aesthetic and do you think it's still trendy I'm not really sure I hope it is because I just want to get on it right now even if I'm a year late but yeah let me know what you guys think and let me know what videos you want to see in the future if there's any specific aesthetics you want me to cover I'll try to cover them I know I haven't gotten to a lot of your suggestions but it's just it's just a lot to get through join my discord server if you want to talk more about fashion and aesthetics and meet people who are interested in fashion and aesthetics as well. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, all that jazz, and I will see you guys next time.